Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on flow through pipes. In this video, we are going to find out what is the diameter of this connected pipe for a given loss of head. So first, I will read what is the given problem. A pumping plant forces water through a 600 mm diameter main. The friction head being 26 meter. In order to reduce the power consumption, it is proposed to lay another main of appropriate diameter along a side of existing one, so that two pipes may work in parallel for the entire length and reduce the friction head to 9.6 meter only. Find the diameter of the new main if with the exception of diameter, it is similar to the existing one in every respect. So this was the given question. We will understand the diagram as per given data. Now here there is the single pipe which is having rate of flow Q. Diameter D is given 0.6 meter and the friction head is also given 27 meter. Now we will consider its length will be L. Now, again we have to connect here the parallel pipe. So, condition is given that initially there is a friction head 27 meter and we have to reduce the friction head for this 9.6 meter. So, we have to write here friction head is 9.6 meter. Here the length will remain same. That is, here is the main pipe is having length L. So, for this, this is the main pipe and this is parallel pipe is also having the same length that is L. Now, what is happening here in the main pipe, the discharge Q is there. But this single pipe is divided. The parallel pipe is connected. So here this discharge is getting divided into two parts. So we will say that this is the first pipe where the discharge is Q1 and this is the second pipe where the discharge is Q2. Now the other conditions that is the length will remain same. And in order to reduce this friction head what is the diameter D, D2 that we have to find out for this connected pipe. So here for this first pipe diameter D1 is remains same that is 0 0.6 meter. So these, these two are the diagrams as per the given data. Now as per the data here friction head is given. So we will put the values for the friction head for this main pipe. Then this first pipe and then the second pipe. In order to find out this diameter D2. So first we will take the main pipe. So we have to observe this diagram and then only we have to put the values. So HF is equal to 4F LV square by 2GD. So HF that is 27 meters. So we have to put now 4FL. So these all are unknown. So we will put here as it is V square divided by 2 into 9.81 into D 0.6. Now this V that is the velocity we can write in terms of discharge. So we know that Q is equal to area into velocity. So this area we can calculate from this diameter. So we can say that V is equal to Q by A. So from this here is the discharge is Q and area is pi by 4 into 0 0.6 square. So when we put here that is FL and instead of V we will we we'll take here q, q square by a square and if we calculate the all the other terms then we will get here 79.461. So this is the first equation that we get. So I will write this is the equation number 1. Now we will move for this first pipe after parallel pipe is getting connected. So here is the first pipe which is having discharge q1 length l diameter d1 0.6 meter so again we have to write hf is equal to 4f l v1 square by 2g d because here the discharge is q1 so we have to write here v1 because this velocity is depends on the discharge so when we put all the values that is hf 9.6 is equal to 4f l v1 square by 2 into 9.81 into 0.6 so we have to take F L V1 square on one set because all are unknown which is equal to if we calculate this 28.2528. 
Now this V1 we can write in terms of Q and A. That is Q1 square by A1 square. So Q1 is this discharge and A1 is the area for this pipe. But now if we observe area is depends on diameter. And here is the diameter is 0 0.6 meter and for this first pipe the diameter is same. So we can say that A1 is equal to A. So instead of A1 I will take here A that is Q1 square by A square is equal to 228.2528. So this is our equation number 2. Now we will again move for the second pipe. So again it is given that length will remain same discharge is Q2. So again HF is equal to 4F L V2 square by 2G D2 because your discharge is Q2 so we will write here V2. So when we put here value now D2 is unknown so we will take here 4F L by D2 on one side and V2. V2 means Q2 by A2. So I will write here Q2 by A2 square which is equal to so when we calculate it is we will get here 47.088 so this is the third equation now if we observe here what are the unknown terms that is f then l then q then q1 and then q2 then this area a we can calculate here with from this diameter but area A2 is also unknown because it depends on the D2 which is unknown. So we have to solve these three equations and then we can find out what is the diameter D2. If we observe the equation 1, 2 and 3, they are, are common terms. So if we divide the equation 1 by 2, then we can cancel the common terms. So here we will take FL Q square by A square divided by FL Q1 square by A square. So FL and A is getting cancelled. So we have to take here on right hand side 79.461 divided by 28.2528. So when we simplify this we will get here Q square by Q1 square is equal to 2.8125. Therefore Q by Q1 is equal to 1.667. So we can take here Q1 in terms of Q. So what is the value of Q? So I will I can also write this Q1 is equal to Q divided by 1.667. That is equal to 0.596 Q. But if we observe this diagram we know that Q is equal to Q1 plus Q2. So again this value of Q1 I will take in terms of Q. That is 0.596 Q plus Q2 which is equal to Q. So again we can take here Q Q as a common and if we solve this we will get here Q2 is equal to 0.404 Q. So now these two values are important that is these are the values of Q1 and Q2 in terms of Q. Now again we will move for the next equation that is we will divide the equation 2 by equation 3. So again we have to cancel the common terms. So FL Q1 square by A square divided by FL Q2 square by D2 A2 square. FL FL is getting cancelled. Then if we observe here Q1 is there, Q2 is there, A is there, A2 is there and D2 is there. So again we have to rearrange that and on the right hand side also we have to write the values. So if I observe here, here is the Q1 square multiplied by A2 square. Now this A2 in the denominator, so we have to take in the numerator into D2. So here is also D2 which is unknown divided by A square into Q2 square. Now again if we observe here, we can write here Q1 by Q2 bracket square. Now what is A2? So A2 is pi by 4 D2 square. So here A2 is having square so again we have to take here bracket square into D2 divided by what is A that is pi by 4 into A that is area which is having diameter 0 0.6. So here pi by 4 into 0 0.36 again there is bracket square which is equal to 0 0.6. So if we solve this we will get here 0 0.6. Now again if we observe here pi by 4 square and in the denominator also pi by 4 square is there so we have to cancel that now here q1 and q2 we can use this value in terms of q so that means 0.596 q divided by q2 is 0.404 q 
bracket square multiplied by now d2 square is having again square that is d2 raised to 4 multiplied by d2 divided by 0 0.36 square which is equal to 0 0.6 now here d2 raised to 4 multiplied by d2 that is d2 raised to 5 which is equal to 0 0.03537 and when we simplify this so how to simplify this so we have to find out d2 so on both sides we will divide here by 5 that is what is the new equation that is d2 5 by 5 that is 1 so d2 is equal to 0 0.03537 raised to 1 by 5. So when we solve this, we will get the answer d2 is equal to 0 0.5125. Now unit we have to given in meter because here diameters we have considered in meter. So 0 0.5125 meter is the answer and we can convert it into millimeter. So what is 512 that is 512.5 millimeter. So this is the answer.